Hi, this is Neve Arthur of the Stay at Home Family with today's edition of the Scientific Happiness Project. I have no idea which day we're on, but we're on a day. And today we're talking about neuroplasticity. Now, the cool thing is that might be something like, ooh, what is that? That's so exciting and sciencey. And it is, but at the same time, it's really simple. It's really straightforward. I saw someone, um, well, a company using this in a commercial recently, where they were like, we use the science of neuroplasticity to make you think this way, and blah, blah, blah. And you're like, yeah, uh, you don't use that. That's just a thing. That's just a way of explaining how the brain works. It's, it's not something that they can particularly use, but it's something that you can use because it's your mind, which is cool. Um, Neuroplasticity basically means you have the ability to change your mind. And anytime you look at the word and you're getting confused and you can't quite remember what I'm about to go over, just remember you can change your mind. You can change how you think. Now the basic premise to understand is that your thoughts are typically created by neurons firing in your brain, right? And as those neurons are firing, they send off a sequence of signals throughout your brain. And so say you have one thought and then it leads to another thought. And, uh, and well, what we'll do, we'll show a little example here. Okay, so say, say we have the concept of success and then we have this thought. And we'll go with this. Okay, I don't know if you can read this, but um, we have the concept here. Yeah, I think you can read it. Okay, so we have this concept here of success. So say you hear someone say the word success. That makes your brain automatically trigger something saying, okay, what is that? You have to go through your filing cabinets. Probably doesn't take you very long. Probably takes you a fraction, micro millisecond, whatever. But uh, you hear the phrase success and you think that it's hard. Right, because at some point someone said to you, gosh, being successful is hard. Or your mother was trying to have success at something and it wasn't going well for her and she was working really hard. So at some point maybe you saw this and every time you heard the word success you knew that's what your mother or father or someone in your life was trying to achieve. And you saw them working really hard. You know, so when you saw, when you heard success you're like, oh that's that thing my mom does, it's hard. And after a while, you think this over and over and again, you start to see this happening over and over again, you think it again, you know, and then you hear the word success again and your brain goes and says, what do I know about success? And that little neuron fires off the next little neuron, which is, it's hard. And as you think it more and more and more, you create this stronger and stronger and stronger connection. Because neurons that fire together literally wire together. So. You literally have created the con you've taken the concept of success and created a literal anchor to this thought, it's hard. So when you hear that word or you hear someone talking about success, you're automatically firing off to some new place that is a wiring within your brain. That it's hard. Okay? And then because of that, because you have that thought, now that is wired to the next thought because you go, success, oh, but that's hard. So when you, so then you're interpreting what's being said to you based on this connection. And based on that connection, you go, oh, so they are saying they're successful, but because you have this belief here, so it automatically leads to what I call a yeah, but. So someone says, I'm really successful, and it was easy, and you go, yeah, but I think you're lying. Or yeah, but you already had to do the hard work when you were 16 and you built a giant list. Or yeah, but you um, had some secret marketing key, something. Whatever, your brain started, is wiring that. So now when you hear the word success, you're going straight here, you're going boom, boom. So you hear it, and immediately your brain goes boom, boom. And it gives you a reason why it's not happening for you. Because success is hard, and therefore it's not happening for me because, therefore they have it, yeah, but not me, right? So that comes from creating these really strong neural connections. Okay, now what's cool about this? Neuroplasticity. Think about plasticity, this is a good way to, to remember it. You know, plastic is bendable. It's not, uh, it's not hard. It's, uh, it's something that you can easily bend and break and whatnot, right? So what neuroplasticity means that neurons that fire together wire together like this. This is a wiring. This is an automatic thing that just happens. But neurons that don't fire together, don't wire together. So something else like this can happen. You hear a story. 
so this the, the way you're getting into the concept of success is you hear a story and someone is telling you about how easy it is. And then you hear another story and someone is telling you how easy it is. So this is, it's easy, right? So the it's easy thought is over here. You know, so you hear a story, and then you hear another 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 story, and, hear another story, and they kill your yeah buts, right? So even though you're still a little bit stuck in this loop, story after story after story of being of this idea, you're like, oh, you know what, it could be easy. Oh, but it's hard. And then the next time you hear, oh, you know, it really could be easy, but it's hard. You know, and then after time, this creates a really strong connection. And when you're creating a strong connection between this to this, instead of this to this, this weakens, right? It doesn't have as much of a hold because of neuroplasticity. Because if you're not using that connection, it disintegrates over time, okay? So you're, you hear another thing about success that says it's easy and you suddenly notice that you're not even thinking that it's hard. You're not even going to the yeah, but place. After a little while, you find that this connection is gone. These two completely separate, and this thought process disappears. Now you have success is easy. Success is easy. Success is easy, right? And if it's easy, then you're thinking, the next thing you'll be thinking is, is me next. Me next now. <laughs> you hear story, story, story. Every time you hear it, you go, it's easy, therefore I can do it. You know, because that's a pretty easy neural connection most people have. If it's easy, then I can do it. Right? So you probably already have it's easy linked with the ability to do it. So then you hear the, the phrase success, you hear about, you know, what other people are doing, and you think, it's easy, I can do it. Right? So that's a basic overview of neuroplasticity. Scientists would probably hate this video because it's uh, it's not super duper technical, but it's a basic understanding of how neuroplasticity works and how it's affecting you, right? And we're going to dig deeper in further videos into what we can do to make this happen more quickly and get rid of this connection more quickly. But the very first thing you can do, right? Do you remember? Story, 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 story. The very first thing you can do is listen to audios, is listen to people's stories, is go seek out stories. What I'll do actually is, um, I don't want to put any links on the Scientific Happiness Project because it's just about getting happy, um, but if you go and find the Stay at Home family, we always link to our weekly hangout that we have within our team. And that hangout is story after story after story of people who are successful, people who have done this, like people who have done the, the science bit of getting happy. Yeah, a lot of it is to do with making money, but they also had to become better people, had to think differently in order to do that. So you'll hear people talking about a decision they made that helped them change their thinking, right? And you'll hear those stories and suddenly you'll go, it's easy to change my thinking, right? That's really important. So if you want to change what you're thinking about, change your input and also realize, question this link. Don't let it go automatically. Every time you let it go automatically, it strengthens. Okay, so if you, go, if you know you have a success is hard connection, really consider that, you know, and start to input the idea that success is easy. And the more you focus on the success is easy, the more the success is hard will disappear. This is a super long video. This is way longer than I wanted any of these to be, but this is such an important concept. Neuroplasticity, it means you can change your mind. You can do it methodically, you can do it systematically. You just need to be putting good stuff in, putting new thoughts in, putting thoughts that serve you and connections that serve you in. Remember, neurons that fire together, wire together, so stop them firing together. And when they stop firing together, they will unwire. And you will have control of your thoughts. Okay, so um, make sure that you are subscribed to the YouTube video. Whoop. Make sure that you have liked the Facebook fan page so you can get more of this, and we'll dig in further into more specific things you can do to take advantage of neuroplasticity.